Peraí, hold on. Hello, how are you doing? Ah, hello, Mr. Octane. Listen, it was hard to try to see you in the live while I'm doing the show. And so um, by the time I saw it, you kind of popped it out. But I do appreciate the fact that you came back. I appreciate your time more than you know. Yeah. Oh, God. It's amazing. It's just amazing. Well, so the book. <laughs> so yeah. earlier we did the book signing. This is like the after show. So it's kind of like how I had it here. We had some great poets. Everyone certainly was waiting to hear about you. I actually had some feedback where people called and said, wait a minute. After I posted Afterlife, Mr. Octane, people yeah. called and said, wait a minute. I, I, I went and I checked, checked out his, um, his information and he has some good songs. I'm like, he's a superstar. <laughs> <laughs> you just didn't hear about him. <laughs> yeah. He's a superstar. So yeah. I truly love Afterlife. Um, yeah. I kept playing it. I put it on the playlist for tonight. Um, I added it to, even though mine was all poetic, I added it to it for for our show tonight, and I had it playing. I had it playing, you know, when the doors open at 6.45 and kind of had it a prelude. Um, because it's good. It's, 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 it's what the creatives that were in the live was about. You know, we're about words any way we can get it. Um, yes, tonight was about my book signing, but it really was about words. Thank you. <laughs> so thank yeah. you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Really grateful for you for you to come on. Yeah. You're a wordsmith yeah. anyway yeah. in the in the Caribbean world. Let, and a wordsmith in your meditation corner. So let me share you. this live for you. So thank you. We can't have people. Let me share. Give me a minute and share this live. Okay, thank you. Okay, no, yeah. yeah. People, this is my big liar. That's why I'm so powerful and I can't talk enough things because I've I've been protected very well. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, yes, everybody who need a liar that is very aggressive and very calculated and very effective. You need to link her, Alicia. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Link. So, listen, I know you come to big me up, but that's not how I work. Can you tell the folks what's coming out? Can you please tell them what's coming out? I mean, I wrote stuff says it's subjective, but my gosh, that's my experience. What artistic material should we be looking for? Well, first and foremost, you know, we always start everything. Give thanks to the Almighty. Big up everybody who won the life. So, I was on the live earlier on, but you never see me. So I just start workout, start oh. doing some exercise and, and push the button. You know what I mean? So yes. I'm a big of everybody who contribute to this tonight and participate in this. Um, in terms of one of my biggest accomplishments right now is, is, is just the weight loss thing and how effective it is to, to and, and how it impacts a lot of people globally. You know what I mean? And, um, as I mentioned, meditation kind of where I start meditation kind. I start two things. I start quarantine bun and then I start meditating mm -hmm. in the space of, of, of that time. And yes. it, 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 it really connect with the people then because they also see me from a different perspective and whatever, whatever topic I mention, you know, there's an individual out there that is going through it. You know what I mean? And they can relate to it. You know, and then um, I come. Nobody wants to call me every time I start a live. Every single person. I don't know why they do it. <laughs> um, and then no, um, you know, times in life where you know, individual. It's, it's, I was speaking about this to the where we always say everybody should have a voice. Yes. And everybody have their own opinion, which is right, every single person. But I don't think that 
in social world everybody should have a voice you know what i mean yeah and 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 this and this is what we use in breaking down this is what they create to, and put the trees them to close with eyes to close the tree, the forest we can't say the trees them where yeah. everybody you know get this thing it's so easy there's no challenge there's no everything that is imperative to mankind you have to do a test you know like a light driver's license you have to do the test you have to do this a gun license like a, a doctor's lawyers even untraditional jobs making farmers but here come the social media where every single people the internet every single person and earth have free access to it just buy a phone buy a chip and you have access to it so everybody mm -hmm. have a voice have a voice and everybody just see where they need for and it's create this big chaos so you have people out here with a stay behind them phone. I think people, I think who create this, you should pass a test. You should qualify if we have the access to the internet. You know what I mean? So everybody just come. You come, you do your work, and then somebody just take up a phone and just say anything. So I come to the realization that people... ...can do anything, and then sometimes it's not necessarily how them feel about you. Are who you are. You don't you don't define what this is how them feel about them themselves and then put that pressure yeah. on you. Then put that outcome how them feel about themselves for you to feel about yourself because you remind them so much of who they are supposed to be. But a lot of people don't understand that a lot of people can work with those things. So when whenever they seek they, they instead of you know social media gif people from the real world, which is humanity. So everybody going to the internet for validation. Everybody want to be validated, and they think the internet is the way to get it. So come back. Yeah. So we have I Octane, the superstar out of Jamaica. Um, he's traveling right now. He's touring in the United States. For those of you that are on the live. Um, or even on a rebroadcast, of course, he may be in a city near you. You just have to check as well just to see where he is. But we're really, really happy to have him here on the after show for the book signing. For All right. Sorry, for brother. Thank you. You know what I mean? So back to what I was saying. And then, I'm going to stay with me. I'm going to understand what I said. And then now, um, when, we, when we become an established artist and for me, a young youth, me grow up, me, and me never get to live childhood like kids' life. You know, when I recollect, I never have a child life. I never really have a father, so I never really have a child life. It was my mother alone, five of us. When my mother go to market, I have to clean, I have to wash, I have to take care of my brothers, them, and my one sister. I have to make sure that so the house clean, you know, do everything, cook, do everything, work, etc., etc. And then after, in high school, I get the breaks, I move from high school and I go straight into music and then music is the next rough world again and I have to learn child and era. So I never get to live the child life. I never celebrate a birthday and if I, I don't know what is a birthday, I don't know what is this, I don't know what is that. You understand when I was like 17 or 18, I get the first television and, you know, we grew up without it. We was the only person in our community who don't have current, like light. Everybody else around me have light. So, I never really grew up on those things. So, growing up, you know, me have this thick skin. I'm growing up. I'm telling myself, so me have to make it, have to make it. And I speak these things over my life. So, I was always in that my frame of mind, in that frame of mind, in that frame of mind, in that frame of mind. And it, it's very successful. But then now, you, you start to grow now. You start to expand in terms of horizon and knowledge and then, you know what I mean? The, the, the burden of life, all, all long, you can care about the burden of life, start to affect you. And that is one of the parts that I went through, the burden of life start to affect me. So I start to gain weight. So when I start to gain weight... Yes? Someone. When I start to gain weight, you know, people start to ridicule it like, yo, this, that, that. And people just set things on the internet and don't know so it affects a lot of people out there. You know what I mean? And then yeah. I was also, you know, one of those persons who see all my friends and say, hey, fat boy, move fast yourself. And Ray, you belly big like, and him laugh it off. But deep down, me never know, say maybe affect them like that. 
So when I was in that position where I have this weight and the internet was so, I, I wasn't seeking validation from the internet, but I'm an artist and I'm a huge artist and people know me. So I have to stay consistent with the brand Actin. Promoting the brand I Actin, I have to promote it to all phases of life, whether with this weight or with this weight or with this weight, because the brand Actin have to keep on, have to keep consistent. So promoting the brand and I went through that. So I decide, I decide to make the decision, say, you know what, I'm going to lose some weight in November. I think I start the 16th of November. And today is like um, the end of March. Yes. And I lose like 100 and a pound. But I do it in the real world. I do it in the real world. I do it from the first day I've been ridiculed to the second day, the third day. And the only reason why I do it is because human beings stop showing the process because of social media. People stop showing the process. It's like when you come and you do your book signing and you show where you're coming from and gradually grow. People always are show the end product because of perception. And because yes. of perception, people don't value people no more. Because I just see a wake up on the spire bench. They don't show me how much work you have to work, how much overnight you have to do, sleepless night, and I saw you attain the beds. You just show it like you get it, and you just show it like you get it. So how can I respect something like that? When me, my life needs to pay, and you are show off your beds. When I weigh my pressure with your glory, it don't match up. It not match up. So me, naturally, I go say, oh, JP has cut off my light. I cannot help celebrate in your bends because JP has cut off my light. But if you should, should show the process, people would appreciate the end product because of social media. Nobody don't want nobody yeah. to dirty. If you call a girl right now, she don't have makeup, she not going live with you. Voila. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> that is so true. Um, at least even to brush brush her hair, <laughs> because it's on the world. It's on the world stage, I guess. Yes, she's not going live with you because from the initial stage, them paint. From the initial stage, and put this bread upon the album like a white bread, and then call it Jesus. So we always feel like people with higher color. It's in fear, like, you know, it's, it is, you know, we always look upon with, with dark melanin in our skin and feel like we're beneath the standard of, of, of society because this is, this is a picture that paint over and over and over. You understand? That's why at a lot of you that try bleach and much I rain because they don't really care themselves and understand the importance of the pigment in their skin. So back to the argument now. If you see a girl and you know, she was like, yo, I can't come, I can't, yes, thank you very much. I can't speak, I can't go live with her, I can't do a video call because, you know, and then she'll put on her makeup and then she'll fall in love with the end product what she's seeing in the mirror. The end product is not you. That is, you alter your look. You're supposed to love looking at the glass and love what you see in the glass. You understand? So a lot of people don't know that they have these insecurities because it's deeply embedded in you as an individual, but you don't know it. So a lot of people would put on the makeup and what them see in the glass, but you can't wear makeup 24 hours of the day. So this is the things that, you know, we have social dilemma where we have that vibration amongst us. So that's why I decided to do it from the start so I can motivate a lot of people. Yeah. I also speak to a girl that said, acting and I tried to post pictures on my, on, on my Instagram page seeking validation from the world and then bash me on my big on my fat on my this and I gain weight because my heart was broken and I take food for it. And yes. from that I only post pictures that is side scenes or this that I've never post back a next picture on my Instagram with me. That is very sad. That yeah. is very sad. Yeah. Because that is very sad because when a person tell you that. So I took that in, in consideration and say, you know what? My back broad enough, you can call me fat up to you know, me I eat poor car one bag or something. But people out there that need to be motivated, that need help, that need, that really, really need help. You know, I think morals is not plural anymore. When I was growing up, my neighbor, my mom never, never agreed. 
and I walk past my neighbor because me I carry my mother bird. Right. And she come and reprimand me in front of the neighbor and said, never do that. You're supposed to say good morning and good evening. It's not like that anymore. You understand? So, yeah. so, so morals is not plural anymore. Singular. It's as long as me and my kids and my family is okay and this don't affect us directly, I don't care about the environment. Uh, the rest of people around me. Mm -hmm. You understand? And, 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 and me to ask because of this um, internet. You understand? So I, I go through that and I motivate a lot of people where a lot of people say, boy, I from you can do it and we can do it. If you never share my thing, um, then me can do it. And trust me, me have like over 4,000 people right now where they me, ask me for the method, me I go to me I deal with them like me a doctor, me I give them the remedy. Me that, that's actually them. what I wanted to ask, um, Mr. Octane. Mm -hmm. So for those that are listening in the live and on the rebroadcast, when they DM you, because you get a lot of DMs just by being an artist, we know that people are writing you. Well, I know, have, have what, what, they what they need to put in there? What they need to put in there? Three thousand DM. Man, answer close to about three thousand DM. Man, about three thousand answer. What do they need to put in there, though? So, so they, so you know that it's pertaining to the feeling good about themselves and 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 being healthy again and the weight loss. What should they yeah, put in there? Um, just put for, slim for Ross. What remember, should I put in here? Weight loss? Remember, uh, let me just deal with it um, private because you have a lot of people on your life who just come and get the ingredients and manufacture it and just capitalize our fight because they're not about humanitarian, they're about making the money. So I don't want to give out the ingredients live. No, but don't give it out. I want to know what should they tell you when they DM you so you know the help oh, them. They should just say weight loss things. or... I, yeah, I tell them that, yeah, when they DM me, them just say, oh, I need a remedy. And then I okay. have a conversation remedy. with them. Remedy, okay, gotcha. Yes, okay. I have a conversation with them and I show them what to do. And I tell yes. them how to do it. And I tell them the mistake that human beings been making, that's why we put in and wait. Cradle over and over and over. Yes. So, so this is the research that I do on my own. Read up and understand. And then I try it on myself. Yes. I try it on myself and I lose 100 hard pounds in, in less than, it's not five months, it's four, four months and some two, may three. I ask, may I ask you a question? How do you feel, like clearly as an author and then being in the spoken word mm -hmm. world, right? So um, we're very in our feelings as creatives. Yeah. How did it make you feel when you started to see the end result of your motivation. So you started out saying, I want to be healthy, right? And then what happened? Like, how do you feel now today that you're willing to now help others? How do you, how do you feel? It's, it's, a, it's a great accomplishment, you know, but it, 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 it isn't new to me because as a youth selling in the market, one day I'm saying a youth, a, a person violate my mom like, them, them ask for like chicken food soup and through the rush you might put cow, cow skin in it with some chicken soup and that person kick over the soup pot. Oh wow. And that them look upon him. I was maybe too small to defend it, but if I was like a age, I mean, feel I mean, I kill him, that's what I feel, you know what I mean? Yes. So I'ma tell myself like me after break a cycle and I, from from that day. You know, I tell myself, sir, most of my friends are more talented. Most of my friends them have better opportunity. You know what I mean? But I, majority of them become a product of the environment. So I change that perspective and said that my environment has to become a product of me. Mm. So if you're a dust and me coming in your life, I'm going to convert that dust into gold. You must know what you do with that. This is the things that I tell myself, I tell myself, I tell myself. So, and it all starts from the word. I'm a famous, I'm a famous, I'm a famous, I'm a famous, I'm a And look at me today. Most of my friends, them, from a little when I recollect, yo, I'm here, I'm a bad man, you know. And I speak that, and I speak that, and I become a bad man. Mm -hmm. What I tell them from prison, I make sure they're all right and right because this is the things that you speak over your life daily. So when you speak these things over your life, 
fear is one of the biggest um, disease a human beings can have. A coward man does a thousand times. Fear is not something that you're supposed to um, dabble in or do well. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. those are the things that contain you and, and prevent you from, from, from excel as a human being because you're afraid for fear. Yes. Afraid yes. for fear. Afraid for fear. You have to yes. fear. To know yes. if, if, if there is an other door for hope mm -hmm. right there. You understand? That's why I always tell a person, say, any person, the greatest person, can lose in the wrong race. You know, any champion can be beaten in the wrong race. So you have to know the race that you're running. And you have to also know so the greatest loser create the greatest champion. So sometimes you can lose, but create the greatest champion. So you win. You understand? Bolt, can, bolt alone can win a race if he can be dominant and run the race. Tyson Gay has to enter the race and lose because Tyson Gay is the greatest loser. So he's also great. So he make we love both. So if you understand that everything coincides with everything, is like a chain link. So you have to know when to be the greatest loser and when to run the right race. And that's mm -hmm. our mindset. So I so tell myself that I'm going to do it. Make up my mind, I'm tell myself that I'm going to do it. I never have my pride, my reach out to the part. I need help. She said, all right, then yes. this is what we're going to do. And we'll start from there. But I tell yes. myself that I'm going to do it. But convince myself first because it also takes discipline. You don't have to run one time. You don't have to go into the gym and lift up my weight. It takes discipline. So when you discipline yourself, then you're going to see the changes. Like the changes yes. that I'm on the road today. And, and yes. a white couple come to me and say, what are you using your skin? What are you using your skin? Your skin is beautiful. My lovely skin. Can I give you the product? I may ask them, say, no. May I explain to them? And I may say, oh, my God. So it, 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 it starts from your discipline, your mind. And from your yes. smile, from what I thought, let me discipline your mind. So it was the norm to me, but the great, how it, affect, how, how it really have the impact is when it has changed people's life. And, you know, a lady started and said, okay, I lose 36 pounds for your thing already, you know. We lose 36 pounds already. And other people say them lose six pounds, them lose seven pounds, them lose eight pounds, them lose nine pounds. But everybody have the same ingredients and the same, you know, things in the bottle and the same this and the same that. But you have to understand, what you have to understand, say, you just need to motivate. Yes. Yeah? Yes. And motivator you need. Because I'm just here to motivate. I don't do not special in terms of things. But I just motivate and show you that it can be done. I show you that it can be done in a small way without you have to spend a bag of money the same way. You understand? People are blaming me don't have the money. That's why I'm going in my kitchen and I take up a rubbish bag and I cut off the rubbish bag and I put the rubbish bag for me. Because many know people can't buy the sauna suit. They don't have the money to buy the sauna suit. And it's ex expensive in, a, in, a, in Jamaica. But it's more affordable in America. But the rubbish bag does the same thing like the sauna suit. So if, if I can do all of these things so people can see it, and motivate people and inspire people to do what they want to do. And me going through the, the, the phase with the weight. And people ridicule me, I understand how effective it is in a people like. Plus, me have thick skin. So if it if it affects me, can you imagine a person with, with low self-esteem? Right. But well, you know, Mr. Octane, this is this is what um I, I love about you, man. And whenever I come Gable into boss, your life, yeah. you know, I think, uh Gabriel Boss uh, <laughs> big up shiny shiny rasta. <laughs> 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 but this is skinny. Oh, skinny, 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 rest. skinny, skinny, skinny. Let me tell you, this is what I love about you. Um, and I say this every time I get on a live since last year when we were virtually together because, of course, um, you know, we were just on these lives. The meditation corner yeah. is, is is where you always inspire others, and what. And then you just your random post, you know, you do what you do as an artist. But I've always loved that you go to the granular level. You always talk about either the basics of life or the beginning of life or what it is you need to do just simply to make your life better. I was just sharing that with someone the other day where you 
would mention, yeah, I have a luxury car. I'm an artist. I'm, I make good money. And But then you'd mm -hmm. say to people, wait a minute, don't go buy a luxury car just to buy it. I mm -hmm. want you to build a house, you know, yeah. secure a roof for your kids. And I so appreciate that from you because as in uh, when when i watch a superstar like yourself and i see how you always take the time always take the time to remind people of what matters you always talk about uh, you know the, the children Mr. G, and don't think, you have mr g on the line no i added when we finish that can you who's mr g a next big artist, a big big artist. Oh, so, if he if he puts some fire, I can do that. But yeah, so so yeah, I can see. Him you. I add him so I can explain to you and tell you when he just meet me. What he said to me, but anyway, go on. Can you request Mr. G just go out and come back in? I'll see it pop up and I'll add you. But so I'm so I'm telling you, Mr. Octane, that's what I've always loved about you. Like just that need to share. You know, you you're growing. You don't really have to show us. There's so many artists that never take the time out because you're a superstar to really tell us, you know, about the ordinary mm -hmm. living, right? Just the basic but, of but, life. And you but, always do that. You're okay, amazing you, that way. How, how can you be a superstar and you follow nobody? I don't understand it. But they, they, they do it. But the reason why, the reason no, why you're, I wanted you're a to make that... You follow nobody. You see nobody timeline. You create a fake page and follow everybody, so you're still watching it. But you're not, uh -huh. watch, you're not watching it from your timeline because you want to look invincible. Yes. So, so what about the three and four and five million fans that you have that look towards you? You have, yes. no, you have no inspiration. The only thing you can do is exploit your fans them. The only time your fans them imperative to you is when you're putting out a song and you need their views and them comments and all of those um reaction to keep your song trending then that means a politician that will burn up every day you are a politician is mr gad gad goofy or something like that mr yeah Gabba yeah, goofy? yeah yeah, yeah, okay. yeah so 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 you are you you are also politicians because if if you're causing politicians so they only deal with the people then when them vote but well, you're with your fans are even worse than politicians because you, you must have somebody where you inspire you have to inspire somebody and gratitude is a must you have to inspire yeah. people. So if you're not if you have a platform and you can inspire someone, a speaker, or you know, more time in a man about two things in you know, more time in you know, a people look towards you more than even their parents, you know. True. So when you take the platform, because you know some music a metaphors and similes, A hey, RT, so you have to express yourself. So yeah. sometimes you go sing some song and it runs and we do my thing and ray. May not the main the Ayatian element. Yes. But you have to come out of that element, that persona sometime. And we buy home and you want to show people that you have depths from from different angles and show the growth. Show the growth the first time and people see your grow and people look towards you and say, once if if him can do it, me can do it. You have to show so you're vulnerable to you have to show your imperfect side. That is how we create eros. That's just how you have great people, Marcus Garvey and Malcolm X and Nani and them people. Them people, they're never perfect. But them go up on the back line with an imperfect method and yes. super mankind. Everybody want to be squeaky and perfect and my nose is straight and if you take on a chop out of my face and no edge and everybody smooth. That's why these male nowadays, once you say something to them, them get delicate and them skin delicate and them act like them female chromosomes. The chromosomes in them more than the male chromosomes, not the testosterones. No, the man them act feminine, them are more than the girl, them, the more difficult them, them act like them are PMS because all of this thinness and this this something with the man, man and a whole are create. So that's why we have the boy picking them growing up and feel like them if you go the other way, them not feel re reproduce or replenish the, that, that's why we're having these things because we're not having a strong male figure anymore i mean i feel i mean i mean i feel connect with your bloodline you know our genes our cells for me if you left an impact on you you can't left bones you only have left impact you know bob marley you can't left bends bob marley by the first big man of people run through it but yes. bob marley legacy bigger than everybody legacy 
Yeah, you know, you know, I want to, I want to interject. First, I want to thank you, Mr. G, for jumping on, and yeah. please, uh, please accept my apology 